First of all, thank you of the organizer for inviting me. Uh, I'd like to talk about dopamine receptors and RNA levels in pervasive developmental disorders. As um, we also, uh, we, as we know, the PDD disorders are uh, chronic uh, neuropsychiatric disorder characterized by impairment in uh, three areas like communication, social interaction, and uh, behavior, uh, stereotype behaviors. We also know that dopamine and behavior, uh, we also know that dopaminergic system is thought to affect a wide range of behaviors and functions, including cognition, motor function, etc. Um, moreover, very recently, Lachner et al. talks about the correlation between uh, dopaminergic functioning and prescular theory of mind. The reason why the interest in the role of dopamine in autism begin from the observation that some dopamine blockers have been observed to be effective in treating some aspects of autism. Specifically, the antipsychotic appear to alleviate hyperactivity, stereotypes, aggression, and self-injury. In contrast, drugs that increase dopamine activity exacerbate those symptoms. In addition, uh, moreover, animal research has shown that stereotypes and hyperactivity can be induced by increasing dopaminergic functioning. These pharmacological findings uh, may indicate that autistic individuals have dopaminergic overactivity. Many studies of dopamine function were done by several methods, including, for example, blood and urine measurements of dopamine and its major metabolite, and measurements of these metabolite in cerebrospinal fluid. Measurements of urinary expression of dopamine and homovanilic acid in autism have been essentially equivocal. Anderson and Hoshimo, 1997, have reported increased levels in autism, whether in large study of autistic versus conscious subjects, no differences were found. In the one study that examined plasma levels of dopamine metabolite, no differences between autistic and conscious subjects were found. There's no evidence of peripheral dopaminergic abnormalities of autism. In addition, it is not clear how these peripheral measurements relate to central dopaminergic functioning. It has been suggested that only about 25% or of blood or urine hormovanilic acid is of central origin. Therefore, these measurements would be only be capable of detecting widespread or marked alterations in the metabolism of dopamine in the brain. This slide to show that in two of these studies that measure homovanilic acid in cerebrospinal fluid, Gilberg and uh, Gilberg and Svenenholm in 1983 and 1987, approximately 50% of subjects uh, with autism exhibited significantly elevated levels of cerebrospinal fluid homovanilic acid. The remaining five studies showed no significant mean differences between control subjects and subjects with autism. In the Cohen uh, studies, 1974 and 1977, Though no significant group differences were found, the children with autism who displayed greater hyperkinesis and more severe stereotypes tended to have higher CSF homovanilic acid levels. Well, at this point, whether or not central dopamine turnover is increased in autism is still a subject of debate. And these studies do not provide strong support for increased CSF homovanilic acid levels in autism. Together uh, with the blood and urine studies, there is a little evidence for differences between autistic and conscious subjects in neurochemical indexes in dopamine functioning. Recent advances in molecular biology have helped reveal the existence of a mRNA dopamine receptor subtype 2, 3, 4, and 5 in peripheral lymphocyte, but it was not confirmed the presence of the subtype 1 receptor. 
According to, the fi to the, these findings, it was assumed that the expression of neurotransmitter receptors in peripheral lymphocytes may reflect their expression in the brain. From here, the hypothesis of peripheral marker. The correlation, however, because of methodological limitations, cannot be proven directly, but can be supported by evidence of alterated expression of these receptors in patients with other neuropsychiatric disorders, for example, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, Tourette's syndrome, etc. No study uh, on dopamine receptor mRNA expression in PDD patients has been reported so far. This one is a um, very recent study conducted in line with this hypothesis, which, however, is focused on a very particular aspect of functioning of patients with autism. Now I um, will talk about uh, our study uh, that is conduct conducted to, uh, in order to examine First of all, the dopamine receptor mRNA expression level in peripheral blood lymphocyte from PDD patients compared to controls. Then the possible association between the dopamine receptor mRNA expression levels and the uh, characteristic phenotype, so diag diagnostic category, symptoms, severity, stereotypes, and aggressive behavior. And at last, the impact of drug therapy on dopamine receptor and mRNA expression level in PDD patients. Our sample was composed by 36 PDD patients and 40 healthy controls. And all the patients underwent medical and instrumental investigation to exclude the secondary forms. Underwent also psycho um, psychometric and standardized diagnostic instruments and venous blood sample to perform cell separation and dopamine receptor mRNA quantification by real-time PCR. Approximately 22% of cases were, un uh, were under pharmacological treatment, which about 62% only um, with neuroleptic, with, sorry, neuroleptic only, and the remaining association, uh, in association with uh, other drugs. Well, we used the T-test and the Mann-Whitney test to uh, assess statistical significance of the between-group differences. Then the bivariate correlations were performed between dopamine receptor, mRNA expression, and the diagnostic category. The multivariate analyses were computed to determine which variables influence significantly the dopamine receptor the subtype 2, 3, 4, and 5 expression. Analysis were performed first through all the sample, so PDD patients and healthy controls, and considered sex belonging to the PDD group or the group of the healthy controls, the presence absence of the drug treatment, and age was considered as a covariate. And the intergrouping analysis, uh, um, PDD patients, so uh, autistic disorder or pdd NAS, considered also the different diagnoses. Here our results, as we can see, um, in accord with previous observation, our sample of uh, peripheral blood lymphocytes expressed detectable levels of mRNA uh, for subtype 2, 3, 4, and 5, but not for the subtype 1. Dopamine receptors subtype 4 and 5 did not express, uh, did not differ from in cells from uh, the PDD patients and the healthy controls. In the contrary, the dopamine receptor subtype 2 and the subtype 3 mRNA express levels was significantly higher in cells from the patients than from healthy controls. Moreover, in the group of the PDD patients, we found the different expression of the dopamine uh, receptor subtype 3 in the group of the patients, uh, in the group of the autistic disorder, than from uh, the group of PDD NOS. So, uh, healthy controls, but not PDD patients, showed a positive correlation between dopamine receptor PD, uh, subtype 2 mRNA expression and age. Even though PDD patients are younger than the healthy controls, 
Dopamine receptor subtype 2 mRNA expression was significantly higher than uh, in healthy controls. The multivariate analysis showed that considering age as a covariate, both autistic disorder or pdd nos diagnosis had a significant effect on the increase in dopamine receptor subtype 2 mRNA expression. Conversely, there was no gender effect or gender per diagnosis interaction both in groups of PDD patients and healthy controls. Also, dopamine receptor subtype 3 mRNA expression is influenced by the diagnostic category, but not by age or gender or gender per diagnosis interaction. Then, no differences in dopamine receptor mRNA expression were found when subgrouping patients to the administration of drugs. The comparison intragroup uh, uh, autistic disorder versus pdd nos we found that autistic disorder patients showed higher levels of dopamine receptor subtype 3 exp mRNA expression than in the group of the PDD. No correlation was found between the dopamine receptor expression and uh, IQ level or specific and non-specific diagnostic instrument total scores, except for the um, behavioral problematic inventory total score that uh, means uh, uh, severity on uh, stereotypes and uh, um, restricted interest. In our conclusions, we can say that uh, the higher expression of Dopamine receptor subtype 2 and 3 mRNA expression in PDD patients compared with controls supports the hypothesis of the involvement of the dopaminergic system in the pathogenesis of PDD. The significant different deregulation of mRNA expression for dopamine receptor subtype 3 within the group of PDD may represent an indirect support to the hypothesis that pdd nos and autistic disorder are part of a unique continuum of symptoms, which is the autism spectrum disorder. The significant correlation between dopamine receptor, subtype 2 mRNA expression, and stereotypes give further support to the use of antipsychotics in PDD patients. But we know that future research are needed to study the relation between peripheral expression of dopamine receptor in peripheral blood lymphocyte and their expression in the brain. The size of our sample was rather small and our results need to be replicated in a larger one as well as the association between dopamine receptor mRNA expression levels and the clinical features, so diagnostic category, symptoms, severity, etc. And at last, the future research must focus on peculiarities of the different lymphocyte subpopulations and uh, in relation to their functional status. I think I finish. And okay. thank, thank you, you for your attention. Much.